Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to deploy storage spaces on a stand alone Windows Server 2022. Windows Storage Spaces is a software-based technology that allows the combination of multiple physical and virtual disk to provide data redundancy and improve performance. Storage Spaces helps protect your data from drive failures and extend storage over time as you add drives to your computer. You can use Storage Spaces rule to group two or more drives together in a storage pool. and then use capacity from that pool to create virtual drives called storage spaces this is going to be a three step process step 1 create a storage pool step 2 create a virtual disk and step 3 create a volume on virtual disk in this video we will use server manager to set up storage spaces on windows server 2022 for demonstration purposes I have attached 3 1TB disk to this VM. However, in real world scenarios, larger disk are typically used. Open Server Manager. Click on File and Storage Services on the left side of the window. Click on Storage Pools. By default, available disk are included in pool that is named Primordial Pool. If no Primordial Pool is listed under Storage Pools, The situation indicates that the storage doesn't meet the requirements for storage spaces. The primordial storage pool has a list of all physical disk available under physical disk. Let me remind you that I have added 3 additional hard disk to this Windows Server 2022 VM. To create a storage space, we first must create one or more storage pool. A storage pool is a collection of physical disks A storage pool enables storage aggregation, elastic capacity expansion and delegated administration. Under storage pools, right click on empty area and select new storage pool. On the before you begin page, select next. On the specify a storage pool name and subsystem page, enter a name and optional description for the storage pool. In my case, the storage pool is called MSFT storage pool. You can also add a description if you want. Click next to continue. On the select physical disk for the storage pool page, select the checkbox next to each physical disk that you want to include in the storage pool. Select all three disk 1 TB each. By default, the allocation is configured to automatic. However, you can click the drop down list for each disk and set the allocation for each physical disk. There are three options available. Automatic option automatically distributes available capacity to the disk in the pool. Hard spare option is used to automatically replace failed hard disk. And using manual option, you can manually assign a specific amount of capacity to each disk in the storage pool. We will keep the automatic option selected. After selecting the physical disk, click next. On the confirm selections page, Verify that the settings are correct and then select create. Once done, click close. Under storage pools, verify that the new storage pool is listed. We have built a new storage pool from 3 disks. In this example, the new storage pool is called MSFT storage pool and has a capacity of 3 TB. We have successfully completed the new storage pool configuration. In the second step, we will create a virtual disk based on the storage pool we created in the first step. These virtual disks are also referred to as storage spaces. When we create a virtual disk, we can select how the data is laid out across the physical disk and this selection affects both reliability and performance. We can also select whether to create a thin or fixed provision disk. Right click on newly created storage pool and then click new virtual disk. Select the storage pool and click okay. On before you begin page, select next. Under virtual disk name, specify the virtual disk name and add a description. I have given the virtual disk name 
MSFT storage pool VDisk 1. If you have a minimum of one automatically allocated physical disk, you can enable storage TS. Storage TS enable the automatic movement of the most frequently accessed files to faster storage. Click Next. Under Specify Enclosure Resiliency, you can select Enable Enclosure Awareness. Enclosure Awareness stores copy of our data on a separate storage enclosures. To use Enclosure Awareness, a server must have at least three enclosures and a physical disk in each enclosure must have automatic allocation. Since we are using virtual machine, these options are not available. Click Next to continue. Under Storage Layout, select the Storage Layout. We can choose a simple mirror or parity layout. The simple option offers no protection. This will maximize capacity and increasing throughput. Mirror protects against a failure of one or more disk and has the most impact on the capacity but offer better performance. Parity has less impact on capacity but a bit more performance impact. To protect against a single disk failure, use at least three hard disks. In case of disk failure, a data will not be lost. You can read brief description about each layout type by clicking on the specific layout. Select Simple Storage Layout Type and click Next. The provisioning screen allows us to select whether we want to provision the storage as thick or thin provisioning. For thin provisioning, the volume uses a space from the storage pool as needed after the volume size. For fixed provisioning, the column uses a space from the storage pool equal to the volume size. When a virtual disk is built using a fixed provisioning, the storage capacity is immediately allocated. As a result, fixed provisioning consumes a storage pool space that is equivalent to the size of the virtual disk. In this example, we'll go with the fixed provisioning type. Click Next. Under Size, specify the size you want to allocate to your virtual disk. It could be a specific size or maximum size. In this example, I'll specify a size of 100 GB. Then click Next. Confirm the selection and then click Create. All five steps completed successfully. Clear the checkbox for Create a Volume when this wizard closes. Once done, click Close. Step 2 is completed. In the third step, we will create a new volume on the newly created virtual disk. Right-click the newly created virtual disk and select New Volume. On Before You Begin page, select Next. On the Select This Server and Disk page, first select the server on which you want to create the volume. In our case, we have only one server, WS2022, and it is selected. Then, select the virtual disk on which you want to create the volume. Select a virtual disk with Windows Storage Subsystem type and click Next. Under Size, specify the size of the volume. We will use Maximum Capacity. Click Next. Under Drive Later or Folder, assign a drive later to this volume. We will use the volume later E in this example. This will allow the volume to be presented in Windows Explorer as a regular storage location. Click Next. Under File System Settings, select File System Setting, Allocation Unit and Define Volume Label. We will keep the default settings and only change the volume label to MSFT V Storage. Click Next. On the Confirm Selections page, verify that the settings are correct and then select Create. On the View Results page, verify that all five tasks are completed. Then select Close. To verify that the volume was created successfully, in Server Manager, go to Volumes page. We can confirm that the newly created volume E is listed under Volumes. Check the volume's file system label and capacity. We can also verify that the volume was created in Windows File Explorer. Open File Explorer. We can also see the new storage species volume listed in Windows File Explorer. Now we can store our data on this volume just like we used to store on normal storage volumes. 
A storage pool is an active Windows Server feature that helps you to combine multiple physical or virtual disks in a single logical disk. Storage pool provides data redundancy and helps to increase performance. That's all for this video on how to configure storage spaces in Windows Server 2022. I hope you found this video useful. Please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.